May each one pray to their God. I don't expect, I don't expect spectators. We are all going to pray to our Lord and Savior. Jala put it, jala put it.
But it doesn't help that your mind is focused, but your spirit is not receiving. Because that word, you will receive it with joy. But when you walk out, you'll forget. Because it was not planted in your spirit. So you need both your mind and spirit to speak together now. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Lord, help me. Ask the Lord. So that the word you receive, you receive it. It's an honor and a privilege, a very daunting one. Amen. People will start thinking, ah, you are used to coming here. No, no. If you, are, if you get here and you are so comfortable, there's a problem. Amen. We find day where there's no altar, it's just where... Uh, uh, but when it's a service and the altar of God is on fire, praise God. And I can feel... As I walked up, over Lord was man. Just on man, I was like, hmm, okay. And the Lord said, because even the message I am using you to preach today now is oxys. Then getting sizile last night as I was putting everything together. Amen. But it's like the Lord is saying, now we're as now we so I, I feel that it's I, when I feel like that it means when I get home the heavens are going to thank me they're going to pet me so I'm, I'm excited as well uh, so that we can see what school man today by the way I bless those who have said I will come with something to put we have a food container for those who are um, I, I almost said first time visitor but pastor said I was like nope first time first timers we have a, a, tin, a, a container there where we put non-perishable items. Okay. We also have another container here in Gubo. We also have another container here in Yamatoi. Amen. Amen. So yesterday it was in my heart that we keep making these announcements. God, that's in a Okay. So I, I, I said to her, she was at my house. I texted and got a long title and I'm X, Y, no Z, Uham, the Kunuzok Fag, Amen. Goba Umatina as pastors, Ufagil, we are born like I am not shaming you. Nam Kunu Beshon Jalung, Pali message, Nati. Ah, you must come bring you saw my message last night. That is Letenjo Wood of Angwed. 
Mwengo lwa tuwana usuge waglete, kata hae nfagi manjo wata eyegi man. Angi tutaba ngole kisasa baglete, wenu ya glete. Kwa mele ngiti, mamot, make sure ukipe kabeti nilabi ufaka. So, ngala singagushu, singagwenzi. I know everyone sitting here knows it's a good thing. It's, do, it's good, eh? It's a good thing we are doing. Everybody knows. Ugozi kvelek fige lento umoya wakosh. Skosh wutat. So this is what we'll do every before we to pass them Zoba Geko, who's uh, she has a commitment at home, urgent commitment at home. She, who's the head of this ministry? Gikala ning chelele na pastor Anzuz. Ugozi every service exen agakumbu zabangwele. Go bangya zanga bese tuwele lapa. So far, we've fed more than five families just by But what I've noticed, Pastor July, it's the same people. Most of us, we want to do it. It's not that we are selfish, we don't want, we just forget. So, said, Amen. So we bless God for those who have been putting naning and busisa banga rafa ingiazim zofak. Amen. Praise God. If it's your first time here and you say, I like the vibe of this house, you can, the ushers are wearing black and black and maroon. You can put your number there. We'll join you on our WhatsApp group. Amen. We'll put you there. Uh, those who have pledged for a sound, you can hear the sound is still distorted, but it's a bit better, is it not? Do you know why it's a bit better? Because you have been putting in your pledges and you've been buying. So as you continue putting in your pledges, you keep buying until, my God, the sound we have. Do you know there's a sound like that? That it can project so far, but when you say it it doesn't kill you here. That's what I want because you have to do it. So we need something specialized like that. Amen. So I'm trying to say thank you for those who have put in their pledge. We are continuing to pledge. Jesus. Don't think what will my small money do. There's no such thing as small money. Amen. It will do magnitudes. Praise God. Today we are looking at the law of authorization. It's a two-part series. Uh, amen. Um, the gentleman who does our posters, uh, usually when he does a poster, he says to me, okay, will this series be a preaching or a teaching? Well, but if it's a teaching, he puts the pictures of me, you know where I'm doing this. Then if it's a preaching, he puts the one when I have a mean face. So, because I'm teaching. I'm teaching, but it's fine. Don't change it. It's fine. So, I won't be looking like this today. Today is a lecture. It's a two-part series. Kala na mshanda skreta next week. I promise you, I will not waste your time today. Oh my God. Ooh. I will not waste your time today. I, I pray I never do, but we have one mshanda. You show logo ti, ushale pants, don't have no motivate. Amen. Ushale pants, I will not waste your time. Who was here on Revival Friday? My God. Who was here on Revival Friday? Kona le party le u u u u budlandi watu yaboni zui. Melun bambenga tu kolkepa. Us no manga huzu gago tangso wana. I jumped on my feet. I felt the preaching anointing sit even on me, although I was there. I felt it. Praise God. We were revived, were we not? Sen khalse laga tebenga eko. We were revived. If they're looking a bit sad, you know they were not here. That's why people go bail. They are they are smiling because they are holding on to the word and they believe in miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Let's get to some teaching. Uh, give me an hour. On the dots in hour. I know if you're from uh, a Sondolo Gong, the hour seems long. No, like it will go past so quickly. I'll still be doing the introduction, but I promise I won't go over an hour. Amen. I don't know why I keep emphasizing this that I won't waste your time. This is going to change your life. 
the law of authorization. Let's get teaching. I was a checkers. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. I was a checkers, checkers, the supermarket. Uh, I had bought some groceries with my Usiska Tengsiza, my child Dusindi. At the time, I think it was 2021 or early last year. And it really really hey, okay? I had gotten paid, praise God. Ziaham isn't Ozam. Amen. It's passing through the till. Amen. Then I don't know what the lady, the teller does. But Kuti did it. Then she, she can't continue. And as we she should press the wrong. The umshinu did it a small error, like sound. Then it's oh, okay, well, shoot it, well, continue because I have the money, so we'll pay. Then she says, no, no, we can't continue. I have to call my supervisor. But in calling her supervisor, she says something interesting. She says, authorize. Have you ever? She says, authorize. The supervisor takes some time. I've got the goods. I've got the money. So I'm able to get these things. But there's an authorization needed. Udulu, five minutes. Authorize. Get to, this is getting annoying because not like my cat declined or anything. Which kuge went Thank God saying I put my lap. Sangenala. Zapumala. Zipumil. At that time, I know I'm loaded with some cash. Now, this is what I'm saying. Now, so as born, I can handle them. I've got the money to get these things, but I cannot get these things. Although I have money, although I can touch these things, although I can smell these things, although I have selected the things I need, I cannot get them until there's an authorization. Authorize. Go kona band. Bana yonki malim shaben. Go kona band. Abas born is in abas dingai. By Albonians, we lit the above, not beneath, yet they are beneath. Is it possible like authorization? Tonight your life will change. Did I say tonight? Yo, shoot, shoot, I'll stop in the evening. Shoot, I'll be a machine today. Oh, kapate, kepete, zetete. Umalzali tendo, because then I'll become you and start preaching. Umalzali, yes? Umalzali, yes? The supervisor eventually comes. She punches a code. Within seconds, did it? Umshini goes green again. Then she continues. And I pay. And I take my goods home. The Holy Spirit, how messages start coming to me. I usually watch a sermon by specific apostles. As they speak, I get a vision. Then I even forget I'm watching a sermon. Then I started writing, writing, writing. Then the Holy Spirit said to me, he referred me to this incident of checkers to better explain what this law of authorization means. Okay. So there are certain things in your life you do not get by money, but you get by authorization. There are certain things in your life you do not get by prayer. <laughs> now I'm going to sound demonic. You need authorization. There are authorizations in the spirit which are spiritual letters or spiritual edicts that govern every strata of every human life. That's why you'll find a family tour. When they get to 40, they all die. Nobody lives beyond 40. No one, even if they go to university, nobody graduates. Nobody can protrude through that at all degree. Can, no one can do it. There's an authorization that says, there are people who are not rising. They, 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 they tithe. They give. They pray. Yet their rise is so slow. Even to rise, you need an authorization. Go to Luke chapter 10, verse 18. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Open it in Amplified. Today we are just doing an introduction to authorizations and we're going to look at authorizations that hinder us. Then next week we are going to look at authorizations for our advancement and how to get those authorizations. 
Okay, and he, he, there's Jesus. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. Okay, go back. Uh, okay, continue, continue. No, John 10, John 10, I apologize. Not Luke, John, John, John. The book of John. Verse 18. No one takes it away from me. On the contrary, I lay down my life voluntarily. I put it from myself. I am what? Authorized and have the power to lay it down. And I am authorized and have the power to take up my life. And I do not rise just because I'm the Messiah. I rise because I'm authorized to rise. You need authorization to rise. If you, you think prayer. Okay, why have you been praying for 10 years and you haven't risen? The authorizations. Prayer is a tool to override, but there's a certain, there are certain dynamics and technologies. So Jesus being Jesus, um, I can just die and I can just get up. The reason I can, I can, I can sow is through authorization. And the reason I can rise up and ascend is through authorization. So, even applies to the kingdom of darkness. unless it's authorized. They are authorized to do so. Our authorizations are keep unkulunkula. Our authorizations are keep Satan. Go to Luke chapter three, verse thirteen. Let's start with verse thirteen. Uh, do you have the HCSB version? The Holy Men's HCSB. Do you have it? No. Uh, okay, we can use Amplified. It's fine. Do you have the NET? New English translation. No, NET. English. You don't have It's fine. Let me read it for you. Let me read it from my Bible. You can open and amplify it, or, but I'll read it for you. Why do I change between versions? It's not because I'm trying to find a version a kuluma intengi funa yoga ngon. It's because in that in different places a Bible, different versions capture it more accurately. It's biblical philosophy. Praise God. Maybe the ministers can enroll in that. Okay, Luke chapter three, verse thirteen. This is what it says in my Bible, or the version I'm using today. You can also read there because it says the same thing. He told them, this is John the Baptist. John the Baptist was busy baptizing people and telling people the Messiah is coming. And their hearts were stirred by his rebuke. To kings. You brood of vipers, meaning you children of snakes. Imagine if somebody stood there and said, you're a child of a snake. Oh, We would have canceled him much. But they took his advice and I'm sure we'll meet one day in paradise with them. But, but anyway, so their hearts are moved. Their hearts are moved. But sends and John, okay, this is what he says to some of them. He told them, you cannot collect any more than what you have been authorized. Is it, is it, is it? Praise Jesus. You don't collect any more than what you have been authorized. Why conducting law, John? You cannot access more than what has been authorized. He was not just speaking about text. Why couldn't I'm a text collect? Okay, it was good. Okay, as text collectors, I'm a text collectors of the time. I a e They would say if text your text is five rand, they would say it's ten rand and keep the other five. Lomuni five bahu sixes. 
So Baba Ikebeng and they saying John is seized and Jebutu Messiah who say oh na sends in John so that we can partake and uh, participate in what the Messiah has. And he says, No melon pen to gebambus as pen to and he says collect us. He says you cannot collect any more than what you have been authorized. Now at face value, he's just telling them is naughty text collectors don't take more. But actually, the Holy Spirit says he was teaching them a spiritual law that you cannot access than what you have been authorized. You cannot access more than what has been authorized. You cannot take more than what has been given to you. I know you want a billion. It's possible you're not authorized for a billion. So you won't get a billion even if you were kind. Do you know people who work about Alali? But seven a business for 10 years. Bangalali called the business is still quite low. It's possible. They it's not that he was saying it's not you, you, it's not possible you should never do it. Mm -mm. He was telling them an observation. The reason you tithe, you give, you, you, you do so much, you pray, you work hard. Yet all these spiritual laws that we are taught are able to change our lives. If your life is not changing, it's possible that you the reason you have not been authorized to, to cross over. So 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 is in those enter your mind. The reason you are unemployed is not because you do not have faith, it's not because you do not pray. It's possible that in the spiritual realm there's an area where you are not authorized. Why? Because you cannot access in tower where you have not received authorization. It's not that you don't have faith. It's not that this is permanent. I mean, this is why we are teaching it. We, we're going to learn technologies to stand against this. God, we are... Okay. Uh, Lord, should we get into the case studies? Uh, go to Joshua chapter 6. Let me try and explain this. This week we are looking at authorizations that stand against us. When I say us, remember, Uguti, Uma Ibai Belis addresser, or if the word of God being Jesus addresses us, or if the kingdom of darkness, Satan, addresses us, he addresses three spheres of our life. There is your personal life, there is family, there is territory. You must always know that. When Satan is going to terrorize you, it's either ter ter terrorize her when I personally ukai, or terrorize her. Uh, uh, your family, my mom's maternal. Uh, uh, praise God. The worst ter the worst uh, 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 terrorization, the worst terrorization, for lack of a better word, is not the one that affects you, it's the one that affects what? Your territory. Do you know why? Because you figure where like your territory, but because you more corner insists you are a drunkard, you end up being a drunkard. And you want to fight out from being a drunkard. It's a territorial captivity. Okay. So, Oma no Jesu, Efunugus blesser. He can bless you personally as Kanye. He can bless your family. Or he can bless the territory. Amen. When you are still praying for yourself, we bless God. It's very good. When you are still praying for your family, you are starting to gain some muscle in the spirit. But when you start praying for the territory, you are becoming a spiritual giant in Gobani. Not only will you be set free, but people in media Zia will be set free. People in the sphere of government will be set free in Bali. Oh, you merely they shall know God and they shall issue justice. You see that? So, there are certain territories. We go Joshua 6, verse 1. There are certain territories. Satan has afflicted and ensured those territories. Uh, there is no blessing that can come in. There is no progression that can come out. That was Jericho. Now Jericho was securely shut because of the children of Israel. None went out and... No, no, you need to move with me. You need to move with me. You need to move with me. Uh, now Jericho was securely shut out. None went and none came. 
It was a territory laying up from Lutokon. Footing again, Lut, it was securely shut in the spirit before it was physical. Who can him dain? As I guess I make matter, who can him dain? Where was San, Epuma corner, Epuzu Trali Gili Bad? Who can him dain? A Kakumun to corner, no more Tolum Sebens, a Tolum Sebens, a John Jobala Benumuzum Kun, no Bana Umuzu Kunushi, we were Buele Pants. It's a, it's a law, it's an authorization was made by Salila Pants. So Jericho was securely shut because of that. Okay. As a result, the children of God, oh, Mabefika, because they needed to get to the other side of Jericho and they had a bit of a problem. Jericho. Jericho was an authorization in itself. And I'll tell you why it was an authorization. Go to Joshua 5, verse 14. What happens before Bafigele Jericho? I'll call it 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with a sword drawn in his hand. Okay? Boning Kelos. Scholars debate. I believe this is Michael, the chief of the of the of the the chief of the what? Not the angels, the The army, the army, the army. That's the word I'm looking for. For the angelic host, the army. Okay. So, behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. Okay. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or are you, are you for our enemies? That is Jericho. Yeah, but I can imagine they get there, right? They get to Jericho. It's clear, it's clear Jericho is shut. This is Bible, everything, nothing comes in, nothing comes out, it's securely shut. There's no spiritual activity in the life. Tuli tenya. Bukona vada sebe fara masivi mnyang, mnyang, agota tuli tenya. Working on businesses, working on career for many years. There is no movement. The only thing growing in your life is your age. It stops today. So, 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 there's a, a, a simo that is like, that is similar to Jericho, that a believer can be in, that a family can be in, that a territory can be in, where young kind of is shot. No got the sectors of shot, that's all I can't shot. No man has to say so shot, that's very bad, but you have to come out. Tum seven to sell Tolil on his way there. Before never to made a mistake. Best in a funu kanye zoom, best funu kanyo, a zulu. There's an authorization working against you. But by the mercy of God, oh, today, today. Makolo Tolo Bode. So so it was a Jericho tool. Okay. Now we go back now. Yes, Joshua 5:13. So now Baba El Boni Jericho tool said to ne authorization that is keeping them shut. Do you know why? Okay, no, let me let me not derail. Then there's an angel in Pangwa Joshua. O Joshua Chabon. How nine kilos and go go shoot is of Caesar, Utla, Ushone Pants, Liwi Cherik. Are you for us or are you for is it as a Cherik? Is it in Gelos, Quebec? Is it in Gelos? So the angel said, No. But as the command of the arm of the Lord, I have now come. I have come to observe, maybe fully NIV. Give one a letter, I am not here for any of you guys. Neither. We are both with Joshua. Hey, hey, angel, are you here now to dethrone these guys who are a stronghold before us? Are you for them or for us? In the Lossian portraits for neither. He replied, I have come as the commander of the army of the Lord. I have, in other words, I have come as an enforcer. Kwamoya, there's something called an enforcer. Both demonic enforcers and angelic enforcers. Abantaba figure to ensure an authorization from God is enforced. So in the Abalenke Lossbay figure. In Gati Joshua, I'm by your side. So we see Jericho. In Obalengi, Los Yas, Uti Jericho is legally standing there. God permitted them to stand there. That means Konaba Tagat were authorized on Tagat. In Gilos, Angzi looks ugly, Angzi looks ugly, Angzi looks ugly. Labantu Bane authorization Ubala. Why? Do you know why? If you're a Bible scholar. Jericho comes from the Canaanites. They were the section Canaanites. I'm a Canaanite. I am a Canaanite. 
to sacrifice people through their God mole, through the fire babula laband. Ama Jericho's nabo zombe konditim, but he ate in a stalo pu mangoba. Leyo bula laband to whose sisters konza lo le sicko setu as if umba pu me lekele. As a result, God allowed them to be secure and firm. He authorized it. So figu Joshua tai minang shindi shiwe. So vele le Jericho mele liwe mele liwe. Ngelosi skwa ai galula ganga. They authorized to be here. Let bossi akia Muslim. Eklogumezai. It's possible. He authorized Musi Bekon. Who are you, Muslim? Ma Pumagban. Who is my? Who is my? Who are bosses? Although he was the child, Abba Zamuk Zenzela and Abraham no Sara. Okay. What you going to do? I now feel sorry for this boy. Although you know the promised son Isaac. Although you are Ishmael. Now I'm going to make you a bit of a nation, a small nation. If you are wise, now you can be great. And when you get there, let me know. Kulu kulu be great. Uso zbone la wena kota. I will ensure that people don't kill you in the desert. That's why they went and worked hard. But petting them. They authorized to petting them. Unga atinji inga begma Muslim. Inga begu nyam aksiyon. They authorized. So the Jerichos had done that act where they said, although not his barb is conceited, or the next fan and a base of the Lavant, Tinestalu Mepalensis male, we denounce it, lays in the Zenzu Lavant. As a result, they had the ability to stand firm and secure. Washoge Uwood, Sabe Figel, we bad. Goba Conin to the Anguli come to Josh, who is carrying a stronger authorization. You will soon find out that you cannot reverse an authorization. But in order to make sure or stand against an authorization, standing against you, your family and territory, you must bring a stronger authorization. If you don't want your boss, that is over you. It's possible that your boss is there authorized. Mshampu gogo ako zoyena. They are so diabolical. They do not even believe. Utoto gogo ake was an intercessor of the nations. They prayed so much. Do you know biblically the blessing of the Lord runs up to four generations? That's the norm. So if gogo ake in the previous fourth generation ube kulegi badi, guess what? They will reign over you. Eko gis panjim sebenzi. You are born a jugum tinant utai when you not even a believer. I'm a believer, so I'm gonna reign. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, they are gonna rain. When a new sum lilo, new sum lilo goes with holy authorization. Enga enga pass go la nae. Okay, let's do a case study. Let's do a case study. Case study one. We are gonna look at Zerubbabel and the temple he was trying to build for God. Ezra chapter five. Ezra chapter five. We're gonna start reading from verse one. Can you see now if you don't have NET, New English, since you came up with the HCSB? Are you okay? It's fine. You can open NLT. I'll read from my Bible with many versions. Okay. Given up to and by your authorization, and that they're enforcers in the spirits. There are demons that want to enforce authorizations against you. But there are also angels who want to uh, enforce God's authorizations for you or in your favor. Okay. Uh, at the time, the prophet had gotten the cry. Okay. Here, uh, uh, Sarah's king, Sarah's, who said, Vumelele, Ama Judah, who was our from Babylon, from captivity. Our Hamba, your worker, in your cons, in your Okay. They have come out. When they go out, they start building themselves mansions first. You'll have to read the book of Haggai to understand. They start building themselves mansions, right? Then God sends the prophet Haggai to rebuke them and say, How can I, I bring you out of captivity? Keep you and your family from poverty. I exist, you've forgotten about my house. So they eventually start then building the temple. But this is the, 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 the legalities they face as they are building. And the time and at that time, the prophet Hekai and Zechariah, son of Ito, prophesied to the Jews in Judah and Jerusalem. They prophesied in the name of God of Israel who was over them. Okay, go back. 
Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, responded by starting again to rebuild the temple of God in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them and helped them. Now it's a beautiful story. God delivers them from Babylonic uh, 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 captivity. They come finally to Jerusalem. It's time to rebuild. They, they, they fall off the wagon a bit and start being selfish and start using for themselves. Kulukulu rebukes them. Okay, they come back and let the Bible, the prophets of God start saying, I can't manage. So it's prophets of Saskishim. What will be a million? It's Saskishim. Okay, go back. But Tetanai, Tetanai is a type of spiritual enforcer. But Tetanai, the governor of the province, west of the Euphrates River, and Sheta Bozenai, and their colleagues soon arrived in Jerusalem and asked, Who gave you authorization to rebuild this temple? Verse 3. Verse 3. But you will make it, you will make it, you will make it. And baby, really you will make it. Ungulungulu say let's healing but from the east, the west, the south, and the north. Uguti ba ke itempel. Six figure ki enforcer wa moi. Uti ngi aboni mali seni na. Yungi aboni prophet wa izulangulungulu ni na lo. Uze abuza invest through tetena. He went into no 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 where am I? Zelibra Coten. Do you have authorization? Do you have authorization to build? Okay. Who gave you authority or authorization to rebuild this temple and to complete this structure? Bakonabant, who starts and sells, they want to rebuild a kaya gobo where they come from. They start building. All of a sudden, in Maling at the builders start running away with money. You want to do good, but something is frustrating you. It's possible that it's, it's, it's an enforcer, it's a spiritual enforcer of authorization in the order of Tetanai, who says, But who gave you the authorization? Why It's not possible for you to rise into a new level where you have built something that will change the territorial scene unless you have authorization. So who gave you authorization? Go a saint of God, if you're going to do something for God, if you want a new job, you want a new house, there's something you require for God, not for your selfish ambition, but you want to do it for him. Am I authorized? If you are not authorized, you're going to have to dig deeper and get the authorization. Go back. authorization. Tetanai will come and say, who has authorized you? And if you are found wanting of authorization, Tetanai will start taking the money Money from your bank account to tonight will start pulling that job that empowered you to change the lives of your family. Who authorized you? Who conducted you tonight? I don't care. Who's the temple like Kelung Kulukul? I don't care. Let me know if you know if you know that you can house a basal and a bank. I'm not a means Do you have authorization? And if you don't have authorization, usobona ukuthi uya apply a bank usunomsebenzi that makes you to end high. God declares it decline i lona ya application yakho ukuthi imoto. Uwathenga ama blocks bawa ntshontsha abafanele ukushini. Ulotsholwe it's possible you wanted to do something. You were a sincere at heart. You really wanted to do it for God. But unfortunately, you were not authorized. We're going to look just now to ask Ganja and whether you are authorized or not. Okay, Quebec. Quebec. They also asked for the names of all the men who were working on the temple. Tetanaya got clinic and Goguti. Uh, are you authorized or not? He starts saying, who are these people who are helping you to do this thing for God? Goba. They are also committing an illegality in the spirit because not only are you not authorized, they are also not authorized to help you. That's why I'm going to say, 
That's why both so ndele tuze ko munyu muntu izinto ngazi shona pansi. It's possible ukuthi you are engaging with someone who does not have any authorization to do anything. Okay, come back. But because their God was watching over them, oh my God, the leaders of the Jews were not prevented from building until a report was sent to Darius and he returned his decision, Kubek. So, 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 la, the previous verse, they summarized, so God was with them and they actually had authorization to build. So, so, so they ended up building, but before they could continue building, he said, stop right here, Iman go work. Melon go check M cutting in the spirituals within my authorization. Oh, verse 6. Oh, yes, cousin, like what happened in between the Sabbath and deal authorization. This is a copy of the letter that Tetanai and the other officials of the province west of the Euphrates River sent to King Darius. King Darius, Begu Yen, governor of all the terrain. Then he had many governors. He was actually the emperor, and these guys were governors. So, by a from that sickness authorization okay, to king Dyra's greetings the king should know that we went to the construction site of the temple of the great God in the province of Jude. Do of the what? So, so we have called Ungulungulwa. But that's and I believe that, that they are of God and they believe it's the temple of God. But still, they like no siyas when they look God. I look beg you authorization. It is being rebuilt with specially prepared stones and timber is being laid in its walls. The work is going forward with great energy and success. Quebec. We ask the leaders who gave you authorization to rebuild this temple and restore the structure. Quebec. And we demanded their name so that we could tell you who the leaders are. Quebec. This was their answer. We are the servants of God of the heaven and earth. And we are rebuilding this temple that was built here many years ago uh, uh, by a great king of Israel. Okay, Quebec. They have authorization. Abakanga because of emotions. But because our ancestors angered God of heaven, he abandoned them to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, who destroyed the temple and exiled the people of Babylon. So are they authorized? Okay, go back. However, King Cyrus of Babylon, during the first year of his reign, issued a decree that the temple of God should be rebuilt. King Cyrus issued what? If you Google that word decree there, in the original text, it's authorization. So, they, are, now they have grounds to stand against certain eyes. Tetana is here questioning them, questioning everything. They say, no, no, no. I am actually authorized. I have authorization from the, from the spirituals, from God. Okay. is authorization. If authorization is the word, but it goes beyond the word. Boba Yindaba is reality. You are above and not beneath. You believe it and you declare it. Yes, you are beneath. As we know it, this is it. Every authorization, godly authorization, but it doesn't end here. We're going to find out soon, okay? Uh, go to Ezra chapter 6. Let's see uh, King Darius' response. Go to 6 verse 1 to 5. So King Darius issued orders that a search be made in the Babylon archives which were stored in the treasury, okay? O King Darius uthola le ndaba uthi okay no a a akuke ke yobhekwa ukuthi le nto eshiwe la majudi iqinisile ukuthi banemvumi bane authorization. Okay, let's continue. So King Darius Kubek, but it was at the fortress of Ekbatana in the province of Media that a scroll was found. What did the scroll say? Let's find out. 
the first year of his reign, this is what the memorandum says, in the first year of his reign, King Cyrus gave orders concerning the temple of God in Jerusalem. Let the temple be rebuilt as a place where sacrifices are offered. Praise God. Uh, go to verse 5. Furthermore, let gold and silver vessels of the temple of God, which Nebuchadnezzar brought from the temple in Jerusalem, be carried to Babylon, and were as carried to Babylon, be returned and brought back to their proper place in the temple in Jerusalem. Let them be deposited in the temple of God. I'll decode this just for, now, just for you now. A verse 13, go to verse 13, go to verse 13. And it says, Then Tetanai, governor of a trans Euphrates, Shetar, Bozenai, and their colleagues acted accordingly with precision, just as Darius the king had given instructions. The elders of the Jews continued building and prospering, while at the same time Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edu continued prophesying. They built and brought it to completion by the command of God of Israel. So what happens in chapter 5, where we've read in chapter 6? Utetenai writes to King Deras and says, I have found a body of believers here. They definitely are believers. They definitely bear the name of the Lord. They definitely pray. They definitely attend every Sunday. And they definitely preach. They definitely tie. They definitely do all things you have commanded them to do. Okay. Then Umu King Deras leyo What he does is he issues another authorization eti ngala nbeke ku wonke ama records kwamoya of my predecessor before king Cyrus kwa calling kwa king Cyrus king Cyrus king Cyrus uyena lo wabadedela wathambana waqede wahamba king Cyrus so se khona inkosentsha ekuthi u king Darius so uthethe na usethi ngale ungibhekele inkosentsha ukuthi le inkosentsha endala yabavumela yini ukuthi bakhe ngicala sibheka ama records akudala uma wakhe wayekhuleka Umkulu wake, waya tanda zayini. Aba kuba bakala, babem tanda yinu Jehovah. Goba if it's found, bebenga mtandi. They do not have authorization. They'll have to do more than a little prayer, a little tithing. They will need to do a bit more to get authorization. Let it by pengempela u King Teras. He went back to the records. He found what these guys were authorized by King Cyrus to come out and it ushana nata little pipe remember keep king cyrus he doesn't just let them go free handed he gives them silver and gold from the temple at the hambana lengebo nyonga keli tempeli oh my god usathana ume sekumela kudedele akadedele uwedwa nengebo kwathi banjiwe ngaphansi kolwandle pastor t so meli kulandele so so before they can advance is there anything in their lineage that sponsors or authorizes their advancement the answer is yes Laba, Labo Coco Babo O Daniele Bakuleka Yasia Tampa in Kisioya Cyrus Usairas Oba Tetela Ganyanengo So Abanya Tatanai Ungaba Tinta Abanya Tatanai Ungaba Kushina Otalaba Baye because they are authorized let it pipe in Ezra chapter 6 because King Tyrus had confirmed in the spirituals that they were authorized they continued working more wealth came in and they completed the job but if it was found by Tetanai there is no generational Sponsorship or authorization, young move. Eba empower issue wa command. He was gonna frustrate them. Kuko na bantu la, aba puma glinage ye nyanga, ne zangom, na banta ba betwele, aba njwa be seven simit, aba njwa simple atheists. They just did not love God. They did not care. They did not believe. If you try advance, ma. If you try advance, bab. Utete na you will check. Is there any authorization that allows this progression? If in Gekko, he will halt that work. Young in this Opelela pants, unless you know how to stand against a legal authorization.
Goba Tetenai was, was, Tetenai was appointed by Darius to be his eyes and ears. So it's not that Tetenai is demonic, we bind you, Tetenai. No more, I'm bind the range out, Tetenai. Ubuzo, Muzo, are you authorized to advance? These are sincere believers who love Jesus. But are you authorized? By the mercy of God, what's all I got? They come from a lineage, your Daniel. They come from a lineage of great men. Oh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Isn't this Nasabi Babylonian emperor? As as it's in Gonungula Lele Manch and Lilu and Kotwa and Keg and Gagum Memesuches. Oh, Daniel, what's in Gonung Fage in the lion's den? I will not stop praying to my God that you let us free. And because of that strong lineage, King Cyrus was bound by spiritualities to let them go, but they can't be let go empty-handed. Little Bible, there was a man named Abraham. God gave him a promise that you will be father of nations. Little Bible, this man and his wife said, you know what? Actually, it was the wife, but it's fine, both of them. They said, we, we, we're tired of waiting for God for this promised son. So, Gena, here's a Hagar. Hagar was an Egyptian slave. Lala Nai was a sole in Dotana, yes, So, thinking they are helping God. But because, this is where I am, because he entered an Egyptian slave, many years later, his descendants are in Egypt as slaves. You into an Egyptian slave. Now, but what are you going the authorization demands? They must enter Egypt as slaves. But I'm a poor man, poor man. 430 years, but I'm a poor man. You get spongo, so I was young and you cake. So better than ever fast. God don't have a gig and dow. Too little to go eat a ruik. And it's a Bible. Nothing came in, nothing came out. There was no advancement. There was no progress. Come get what too little ya. I can imagine in Egypt, mum go and ababe zama. Upu mama be zamu go eka. But because they did not have authorization, in other words, there was a demonic authorization against them. E tu koko we no. Walala with an Egyptian slave. Nani meren kene kubila e kipite to fulfill that. Authorization he made. So many people are here. You are victims of what generations up to the fourth before you did. That's why you want to shoot up God again, Pezo. Give you encourage. But the back boys don't say what kula hangag. Women zen ngul ngul. When I wear to uncommon to lend you, you tell when I was told. Women zen kulum kunis. You are the most faithful, most honorable, most loving of Christ. But in Kinga, there's a demonic authorization against you. And Utetenai has been standing, withstanding you for years. Utu, we advance, push a move, Utetenai. Because you don't have an authorization. Let's look at our last case study. And then we'll pray and close today's lecture. Go to Acts chapter 9. If you beg how how these authorizations against you and your family work. Acts chapter 9. Your bandwidth, your family's bandwidth, your territory's bandwidth, or your room abana, you could advance is governed by the authorizations over them. No gap home again. Right now, the reason I have to teach this introduction in depth, which is corn, is so that your faith may be stirred up, that I must stand against them. Or you can't stand against tongues, what's it called? But what's going to say tonight? Ours is just your boss, that's mean it doesn't want to promote you. Mm -mm, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. What's on Jalu Paul Ephesians? It's not your boss that's the problem. It's not that you have a small salary that's the problem. There's an authorization. If you know how it works, then we're just going to look at one way to stand against these authorizations and pray. Meanwhile, Saul, Nyamazu Saul of the New Testament. Saul of the New Testament is, is who they now call Apostle Paul. Let's see what he did. 
Meanwhile, Saul was uttering threats with every breath and was eager uh, to kill the followers, the Lord's followers. Uh, maybe go to, um, go to Amplified. Meanwhile, Saul still driving, still drawing his breath hard from threatening and murderous desires against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest, Kubek, and requested of him letters to the synagogues at Damascus authorizing him so that if he found any man or woman belonging to the way of life determined by the faith in Jesus Christ, so he might bring them back bound with chains to Jerusalem. We, oh, oh, this is how Satan works in your life. Little Saul went to the high priest and he requested letters authorizing him to bind anybody in Jerusalem. So praying and rebuking Saul was not going to help. Buzo again, I stop him. Because he had received letters of authorization. He was authorized. Saul was authorized. There are certain demons that are authorized to afflict you and your family. Because it's possible in your lineage or in your territory, somebody opened a major demonic open door. And usually, what are those doors? It's usually iniquity. What is iniquity? Sin that has gone, for, gone on for a long time. And the person is casual in the sin. They live in it. Their heart no longer wants to repent. That is called iniquity. You are exercising your will directly against the known will of God. So it's not that Ubungas, you do not know any better. You knew better. But you chose the way of darkness. That's iniquity. And if there's iniquity, Saul is able to get letters of authorization against believers now my issue pastor mutab is that these believers at your babula soul if we found that from act one up to this point act nine they are sincere believers they love jesus this is bible they would share their belongings they would share their belongings again why it's local one they would bring everybody sell it bring it at the feet of the apostles they would eat together they became one big family they loved the lord they prayed they fasted as a result their number grew back so they were sincere believers yet saul was able to get a letter of authorization to bound them why does your family reject christ it's not even that they say I, I reject him and him phone. But no knowing cause I agree. God I mean rice lengi con. I don't want to know him any further. I don't want to know him deeper. I don't want to even come to you to church. Come with you to church. Get rice lengi con. Ngege foot. Gam kolo kot ngeg. And you are sincere believer like these guys. You truly love the Lord. You truly serve. Yet Saul was able to get a letter of authorization to keep your family bound. And what does that what gives him the legal right to do that it's three spheres of sin i told you when god impacts you or when satan impacts you he impacts you in 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 three dimensions or aspects of your life it's either it's personal sin it's family sin or territorial sin but if you don't have a strong altar and your priesthood rises you're going to be bound by that territorial spirit even if you didn't drink, These are church girls. These are church guys. They start taking drugs. Go by. It's a debaucherous lifestyle. What is a debaucherous lifestyle? They are drugs. It's a debaucherous altar. And if your personal altar is not strong enough, unfortunately, altar is a gold queen. It's 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 a you know what? Because the altar lake is stronger than the It's a ham being an what I now. We are allowing them to get a little. We are allowing them to get a little. 
in Matthew 18 verse 19 now Peter because you know I am Jesus Christ okay he then says I I, I, you, I shall give you the kings of the kingdom go there Matthew 18 verse 19 I shall give you the keys of the kingdom what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven what you set loose on earth will be loosed in heaven in other words again Again, I say to you, uh, no, 1619, 1619, Matthew 1619. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and what you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You see that? So, so, Jebu Tembe Ingan, Jebu Tembu Jesu Ngenganyaku, no Jesu Tembe Wena Ngenganyaku. Gobu Tunige Wena. But they figure they go, figure Tatanai. We have peace, see Viago. I beg HR when they open land you. Figure Tatanai. At high HR, I'm Shabazel. Send a cash about. I got a no. Gambella, who figure colleague. I shy say, see Viaki wear pants. A crubeg and a second note to be a gay band. A valley officer poem, Sisokina, I got a young in the Sivia Kaifa in Kumen. Utatanai. Authorization. There's an authorization standing against your advancement. Next day, English show, guys. Next day, English show. No matter how sincere you are, there are evil forces who have received judicial authorization in the spiritual realm to take you captive. You'll find that in some families, after every five years, somebody dies. My mom is here. In 2006, my aunt, she was as good as my second mom. She passed on in 2006 and gave. Five years later, 2011, my mom's twin brother, she's a twin, Malum Sipu, passed on. Five years later, eh, my cousin, Ozalo, any eh, sibling, yake, passed on. Plus, my father passed on. Five years later, our little boy passes on. There's an authorization in the spirit that warrants. What's it long day? After every five years, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it will take more than a school of lovely hymns. It will take more than singing, uh, praying prophetic prayers. It will take more than just confessing the word. To break these things. When the Lord gave me this revelation, I fasted maybe for three months. It was 2021. After we had lost the last member, and I was like, oh, clean and lose And he passed on in a very painful way. In my house, in my hands, in my swimming pool. Very painful. Then I knew what happened. I can't blame Satan. Long get it. I rebuke you, Satan. Go back and rebuke him. Who is on you five years? Who's on Tato Muni Mund? Shams on Tato Min. In fact, Mum would corroborate. Go see. Gale sos kati shoningan. Gang gula mina ngakusha ngashon. In fact, Abba prophets, Abba best bang, Abba pupa bestem gobenwa. Kogmelo bo bumi nutaswa. Angas ganjan. What's that thing there? Gabo tia bo lendo gzalu nice Christian. Gilogan guitar. I've made it. I've made it. All things are mine. They're not. Five years later, kono zoham. I fasted, I fasted so much. I was so thin now. I was so thin. I fasted, I cannot stop. In fact, that's how I got introduced to the prophetic. Sincere prophetic. I look, guess what I will declare scripture prophetically. No, I never prophet. I never prophet with scripture. Praise Jesus. I was so sincere. And the Lord revealed this to me now. And he's reminding me of this teaching this week as Pumagion. From, it was Pastor Isaac teaching on honor and dishonor. For some reason, the Lord said, that's one of the authorizations that will make people bound. Hence, we are here today. Gizimina, it's time to rebel against Satan. Now, my authorizations are against us. Why are there gay people in your family? People become gay. They just become gay. But you are a prayer warrior, you are strong. But they are gay. But the girls, they don't get married. They live with boyfriends outside of marriage. They have children, anything outside of marriage. I bind you, Satan. I'm not going to bind. 
There's some work you need to do. Now, Tetena has come with authorizations against you. All right, how do we break forth? How do you break forth? How do you stand against an authorization against you, your family, or your territory? How do you do it? The first thing, I'm just actually going to look at just one thing. Just one thing. Then we're going to pray. Oglandela is your Buga next week of how to get you yourself, get authorizations to advance you. But today, let's first get free on how, biblically, how to stand against authorizations that are standing against you. Okay. One thing you need to know, you cannot reverse an authorization. Once an authorization is issued against you, it cannot be reversed. What you need to do is to motion for the issuance of a greater authorization. In other words, I break this authorization against my life. When I tell you authorization, a better So what if it's an authorization against you? Who the lesson that you to affect you today? You are going to need to get a greater authorization yourself. Okay, go to Esther chapter 3. We're going to look at the book of Esther as a, 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 a case study of how to break free from these authorizations by the issuance of a greater authorization. Esther 3, verse 8 and 9. Then Haman said to King Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered and dispersed among the people in all the province of your kingdom. Their laws are different from all other peoples, and they do not keep the king's laws. Therefore, it is not fitting for the king to let them remain. This is the time of Esther, the queen, who shot the king Ahasuerus, or king Xerxes in other biblical versions. who's close to the king. Agaz, who queen, his queen as well is also Jew. He hates Jews. He was dishonored by Jews. As a result, he wants to kill all the Jews, okay? If it pleases the king, this is what then Haman says, to try and kill all the Jews. If it pleases the king, let a decree or an authorization be written that these Jews be destroyed, okay? And I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of those who do the work to bring it into the king's treasuries. Okay. So Haman is hell bound to destroy Illinate Yamajuta. He's even willing to pay money for it. Okay. If you continue reading the whole story, the king actually allows him and says, Let us issue the authorization. Okay. This is then how the authorization, I'll skip everything in between. Go read the book of Esther. This is then how this authorization is overturned. It's not overturned by reversal. It's overturned by issuing a greater authorization. Go to the book of Esther chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. Okay, go back to 4. So that makes sense. So Esther has fasted, has prayed. And she holds a banquet where she's going to ask the king to overturn this authorization against her and her people. She was also true. And the king held out the golden scepter towards Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king, Kubek, and said, if it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seems right to the king, and I am pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to revoke the letters divided by Haman, the son of Hamedatha, the Agagites, the Agagites, the Agagites, which he wrote to annihilate the Jews who are all in the king's provinces. She's asking to do what? To revoke the letters of authorization. Is a good thing, husband, yeah. For how can I enjoy, okay, still Esther, how can I enjoy to see the evil that will come to my people? Or how can I enjoy to see the destruction of my own countrymen? Quebec. And then King Ahasuerus said to Queen Esther and Mordecai the Jew, Indeed, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and they have hanged him on the gallows because he tried to lay his hand on the Jews. Quebec. You yourself write a decree, write your own authorization. Lala, our prophetic thing now, because I want to wrap up. Write a decree, write an authorization concerning the Jews as you please. Oh my gosh, she's, give, she's given a blank check in the king's name and seal it with the king's signet ring. For whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring, no one can revoke. You are lost, you are lost, you are lost. King Zesas is saying to Esther, 
Yes, it's tender something. Ya funu go in reverse ale authorization yo kula la wena numde nwako. Kota yonk inte palu enge kamala ma ikuwa zuk reverse. Inte zo siza la. Ugutu enu pale encha. Ebu la la leko. That's how you break free from authorizations. So, but how do you do this? How do you get to a point where God says, here is a blank check, my child. And then authorization will triumph lay on. How do we do it? Let's look at what Esther did. Let's look at what Esther did. One, you understand the authorization against you. Tell your neighbor to understand the authorization against you. Tell your other neighbor if the other one was not friendly. In case they were mean. Understand the authorization against you. The first thing you do is you understand the authorization against you. That's what Esther did. Go to Esther chapter 4. I'm going to read from verse 1. The fa- you, 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 can't, you can't stand against an authorization on ayas. Every male child will not get married. If they get married, their spouse will die or leave them. It's a hex. It's an authorization. It's there. I mean, I'm feeling the same way. It's an authorization. You know that Jesus is your Lord is not going to help you. You're going to need more. Acknowledging him as the Savior, as the, as, 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 no, you can't acknowledge him as a Savior. You must acknowledge him as your Lord, your personal Lord. And when you have acknowledged him as your Lord, then he shall save you and become your Savior. So that is not the key to success. It's the platform that houses you to success. We have learned that we have learned that 10 years ago, we have learned that we have learned that we have learned that we have learned that we have all victory in Christ. I have won. I have, I'm victorious. I'm receiving my things. 10 years later, you're still poor. Do you see that there are more spiritual realities and mysteries that sometimes we don't touch, even as pastors? Sometimes you don't over ten years. After five years, Lord knows someone will have to. Do you see that? Okay, the Lord is saying, move on. Okay, Lord, I'll move on. I'll move on. Esther 4, verse 1. The first way to issue or to get to a point where the Lord can allow you to issue an, a new authorization that will triumph or step on or override the one icon. The first thing you do is you understand the authorization against you. Esther chapter 4. What did Esther do as a Yaku king? That authorization we revoke. King is it, we can't revoke it. You must issue another one. What did she do first? When Mordecai learned all that had happened, what had happened is that he found out Mordecai. Mordecai was the uncle of Esther. Praise God. Or oh, the cousin, scholars debate. It does, it's immaterial for these purposes. So let's say the uncle, for argument's sake. When Mordecai heard that everywhere will be killed, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the midst of the city. He cried with a loud, bitter cry. Okay, verse 3. Uh, and in every province where the king's command and decree arrived, this is the decree, authorization of Haman. There was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing. And many lay in sackcloth and ashes. But they know they are going to die, okay? But they are not just crying, they are doing what? They are fasting and crying unto the Lord. Okay, go to verse uh, 5. So, Esther. This is what Esther does. Then Esther called Hetach, called Hetach, one of his eunuchs, 
uh, who was a servant here, he attendant, whom he had appointed to attend her, and she gave him a command concerning Mordecai to learn what and why this was. Do you see that? She first understood what and why. She first understood what authorization. Uh, do it in maybe NLT. Do it in uh, verse 5, NLT. Then Esther called one of the king's eunuchs who had been appointed as an attendant. She then ordered the eunuch to go to Malumu Akumodekai and find out what was troubling him and why he was mourning. Bangwele, there is no breaking free until in your prayer you start challenging. Why mina ngitundezeleki? Why mina nomden wam we are not rising? No rise, I am seven zini, aga rise. Wongo mutu gleleve la a pu ses bakatas banga nesas batala manj. Isi mengata shin e yi ni. Let's buy bell esta first understood what is this authorization and why it was there. The first way to, 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 to for God to be able, like Esther, King, Exorcist, to Esther, it's okay. Spaleleak authorization of reverse. Who is to call you find out who's going to land? Sense of God, it's not natural that you live in poverty. It's a lie from the pits of hell. It's very demonic. It's not natural that you live in poverty. It's not natural that you live in perpetual sinness. You start to start standing against. Why is it? Oh, thinking Kayama, where she slept around and had us outside of marriage. Naomi, I'm I'm having kids outside of marriage. Nenganiam na is pregnant, a teenager. Start questioning it. Why? Let the Bible ask our boys. Why? Why is it that I'm a prayer warrior, but my family doesn't come to Christ, Mam Kumar? Ya kulek, agota bong abes. Angas hinda ba. The first step to be able to reverse demonic authorizations against your life, you need to understand why there is that authorization. By the way, to prove to you once again, what in that your grandfathers did, your favorite verses. When a man is in Christ, is a new creature, the old is gone, behold, the new is come. No, no, the scripture is true, but it's true. God, that's your grandfather did, will still affect you today. Now he's affected today. Yes, when you come from a new lineage, you've seen the same. Yet, Ubabuako was shown up below fort, not achieved much. Ubabwa ke wa shona before fort, not achieve man much. Your your your, your uncles na baba shona below fort. Now when you are sick, you are thirty now. You are about yes, I'm about to die now. Yes, you send this. We got the why is this lent is a kubek? This is people who asked and found out. Then we no go and prove that something. Go to First Samuel chapter fifteen verse. Ugo ti lentingu esta begene na yo inkinga ya koko wa kitiwa. Who sold? Who sold now of the New Testament? Not, not the one of the uh, of the Old Testament. Not the one of the New Testament. Uh, go to verse maybe around seven. Go to verse seven. I want to show you something. And a soul attacked. Okay, go to verse eight. So here, saints of God, there was once a king in the land of Israel, including the Judas, who are the Jews. Okay, uh, that king, his name was Saul. So God said to Saul. Go kill the Amalekites. It sees way that it stands against you guys and stands against my name. Kill the Amalekites. Kill their king, King Agag. Okay, this is what Saul does. Saul took King Agag or Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. Come back. But Saul and the people spared King Agag. And the best of the sheep, the oxen, the fatlings, the fatlings, the lambs, and all that was good, and were unwilling to destroy them. Ungunungunu says Saul Pumala, Uyobulala, the king Agag, and everything in there. Let's the Bible, King Saul gets there. He kills the people, but he spares King Agag, and he spares the sheep. I say, King Agag can be my slave. I can also keep uh, this sheep and oxen. Why pride? 
uh, Mina is my slave. I have this great king, King Agag. But Begag, because he failed to kill King Agag when God said kill King Agag, let's find out who to Haman. Leman, many centuries later, to Sebula Laban to Baconusol, Amatisans are all coming up. Go to Esther chapter 3. From verse 10. So the king took his signet ring, now Sasku Est, and gave it to Haman. Haman, the, the son of Hamedatha, the, the Agagites, the Agagites or Agagites. Do you see this? The enemy of the Jews. So what Ukokoa Est failed to finish off? That thing has come to finish off my descendants. Do you see this? Ungulungulu beti sol bula la king ekek. I ngo mungulungulu waye motivational. Efunugu tu sol abe murderers. Ashuga ne naba and amen zelizit. He knew that if we don't take care of this king now, many decades later or centuries, I forgot the time span here. I think it's a few hundred of years. Many descendants later, in zalo ya kelo akak onga funugu mula izo bula le yako. So Haman in Ghana yama akaka. Let the Bible. He was the enemy of the truth. We tat happy. Oh Haman learned to go to Vela Zondaba and we tat happy. I was not there, but I'm sure. We go to King Agag. Now my descendants are survivor. Mele ngaba bulawa, as God had said. Lawa survivor. They kept telling generation to generation, generation. We go to Baboni Jodo Obulana. Bab Kablaband. As a result, King Haman said, I mean, Haman came to the king and said, I need an authorization of Babulala. Sorry, Esther and the Jews. Bele ngabu koko wenu solo was bulala at that time was like, itine so bulala ni namanji. So some people's authorizations, it's because of what your grandfather failed to kill. It's what your father failed to do. But by the mercy of God, Esther becomes a new soul and finishes the job. Mobility by Pelu Hemen was eventually killed. On a pole, he had erected to kill Mordecai. What in the So Esther finished the job. The Rubabuaki could not finish. The Rukukua could not finish. In the name of Jesus, you shall be like Esther. You shall finish what your father could not finish. You shall override authorizations that your father caused. So the first thing Esther did, he understood why there was an authorization against them. How do you do this? By prayer. prayer. Help me to advance. No, no. In prayer, I have brought my tithes. I have offered. I have served you diligently. I have loved you with all my heart. Yet my finances are held. Why? You literally inquire of the Lord. After 30 minutes, amen. 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 Why is he crying? And what is this authorization about? Because before I can start warring against him, and I need to first understand the nature of this thing that is holding me back. So the prayer you do, you can even write it down. Never pray a prayer that does not benefit God. So, bala panzu skulungul, ang advance. Ugo beseng advance in. Gatolam shabi business and my business succeeded. This is what I would have done for your house. This is what I would have done for all the people who are in need in this community. But it's not happening. This is what you are missing out on. Is there as many? These are the prayers I pray. You've said in your word, word, if I bring my tithe. You will open up the floodgates of heaven. Sang wale ti lengulgul in accordance with Malachi chapter three ten. Okay, but enga zoti ama floodgates a waga vulek. So njebe enga vulek abantu ba angboge kai but uno guleti shum kote pili ya kisafan. So your name is getting a bad reputation. Upala pantu yamchel. That's how you contend in this realm of the spirit. 
Ubala Pansi, what his word says, how you have complied, and irrespective of compliance, still in Piluaki Samir. Masu Kulu, Kusho, Wutipela, Israel, good number 2023, Elisi. You know the man that you should lie, you know the man that you should change your mind. Should it say, it means you're a liar, but I know you are not a liar. So, what is it? What is the problem in Bambi? Two days is too long. Uzo Pupa, Ubo, no Umalumaka Bula Lumut, Ufu Guboto, Ekaya slid with a murderer. A guy slid with a witch. You see that? And once you know the authorization, you are then able to pray against it. Two, the second thing you do after understanding the authorization. Uh, go to Esther chapter 4, verse 15. This was Esther did after she inquired. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Quebec. Go gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. <laughs> the second thing you do, you fast and pray. And allow yourself to die in the fast if you don't get a response. Fast until who else does if I perish, I perish. Go to Revelation chapter 3, verse 11 to see the technology to overcome anything. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold on to what you have. No, no, no. Uh, 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 12. Go to Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to a point of death. So they had the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. They had the blood, they had the word of God, but they did not love their lives to a point of death. We are fresh for work. No, no, no. I miss you. Are pause. It's okay. It's good. Go to a pause. Give your Lord who's near Gulal. Bow faster for this purpose. Gaza Gulal. Meaning, gang up Gulang happy bed. I'm shopping now. My pillars are getting a toilet a little bit long. The first getting in terms of shopping a first two, three months. Gang guy and a good luggage you complete. You are pause a God. Giving exercise wisdom. What on a pause? It's immaterial. kingdom business. So I said, if I perish, I perish. I am perishing and morning. I don't know why the Lord is emphasizing this. So, she, when they fast in these days, they'd cover themselves with sackcloth. They'd give everything away. And they would lay bare and say, Are you giving anything away? Ufuni ntelo gifike gwen. Nalo handi randu waku logu ubambi, lususu umdala manje, usu isi tru. Ngobu logu ubambelele gwen. Mm-mm, nige langaw. Unga pum lenti nunga nige lili ngaw. Angsasho nala go paskiti nigu male, tole nunga pegose tole numniki. Basically, no hundred rand or ten bear on. Good heart, you figure now Wednesday. Hey, mina, ganga tati salary on. Nzalungulungul. What are your benefits? Ngati yonke, ngati kangulungul. No, ngulungul be kon do half what ang kon do half yonke. Ang to bambe yon. I have been unemployed for two years. At work, the company closed down. Lapo hours group executive legal head of what, what, what? Gi youngest executive in the country, youngest legal mining executive in the country. Msema pepe ngi star. Pelum sebenz. Two years nga salikai. Gino muzi nemot. Gonta mandabani. 
Kasi bangu utolu msebenzi. Kukulua sijo salari yonki. Ayahambi. Hup! After two years nga sebenzi. Mina ngezi nge diamond walk. Nele sala. Kukulua si yonki. Ok. Nzo kipenye genge. Nige my mom. Eh eh eh. Imiye ku kok lady lady. Uzo tola in month two of you were yonki. Watangi tufunu break other case. Etikin. Ya bonje bo nukwe wapele lu msebenzi. E umunga i break lento manjele authorization. Ne nganza ako zo pelelua. Gzo hambe kambe nkume but pinde pele. Gzo bu mkoka. So kete manje ki paleo salari yon. And I did that. Omele nshupege. Gishupege lu reverse authorization. O esta wati nzo kshupege. Ugutu mina nabantu base kaya spili. Yinwe no nshupege lai. We are super ganch. Give one episode to Musa, Mam, Mam, for getting our super good. Give one episode. We are full of what the family are keeping delivered. It's super good. Give some as a show on Google, Google, Bob to life. Then we are going to fast. Can not sing Lindu, Google, Google to direct me if I should fast. La put Jesus say when you fast. Give Lindu Jesus and Jai Lugut I should pray ganch. Men ought always to pray. He told you in the word. I will go fast. Third salary on English speed. We have one Isaac. When Abase Ngeng Bashonge Kama Bangaza Bangushama sponsorship to Angi Show we come here. Oh, be over me, over me, I wish over me, I'm sun and damn. What are we going to do, sun and damn? So if Laba Bangan, Abak Kashai, Bang Nick in for seven hundred thousand, the loser tell one can give it away. Give if you are serious about breaking into again. In the again, it didn't go shine. It didn't go shine, ya baba. Oh, my friend, you found out that I'm cocky again. Oh, take a couple of advance eye. No advance eye. Your belly is just bare, just shiny pants. If you found out that I'm cocky, where the father hates the son, the son hates the grandchildren. Everybody resents this family conflict. You need to be crazy. Just keep fasting. Unga ati three day fast. Futu unga ati seven day fast. Rochelle, very fast. And you ulo ukubegi. Uyo yega mshak figi ngi losi tiyeka. Uzo ofamanch masu yeyek. Uvelo fast and upege yinu nga nigela nga yukip. Ayiki nte tinta. Nkul nkul ujenga leyo. Uzo reverse authorization that has been there for a hundred years. Uzo reverse nalo mkulego wako 30 minutes. How is it possible? When there is an authorization against you, you need to you need to bring a greater authorization. That's why in our case study in Acts 9, verse 2, let Tiwawaham while telling what to Saula, so bind the Avant Bankulukul. How did that uh, be thwarted? How, how was it thwarted? A greater authorization came. What was that greater authorization? It was through the man called Jesus. He met Saul on the way to Damascus. What's in fun? I'm the greater authorization itself. Jesus himself had to be authorized. He did not just function here because he's the Messiah. He had to be. Go to John. Let me find it. I want to show you something. Let me find it. John 6 27. If you want to send your paraphrase. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which enjoys to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set His seal on Him. In say any time now, I'm trying to be NLT. Give one alert because Kulonya a whole different topic, lah. Don't be concerned about eating things that perish, like food and material things. What he rather? Concern yourself about eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. For God the Father has given him the seal of his approval. In the NNT it says, for God has authorized him. So that's why Jesus could come and stop your authorization. That's why God made a figure Jesus because he himself was authorized. And lastly, you understand your authorization. You then go crazy. You become a giving machine. And don't cut us out. We're going to play like the NHL. We're going to go to a season where I'm going to relax. But oh my God, I used to be crazy. I used to be crazy. There's a time I called the village. I'm going to go to the village. I'm going to go to the village. I'm going to go to the village. I called the village of Richmond, where my mom is from. I'm going to go to the village. 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 I'm going to
We brought a truck that food. Badla bong. You just need to go crazy. Thinking when you send the mail, go be a co. I go and get jamming, co yung co yo. I think go jammy. Shala ne think go tang in advance. Umundo advance up think umundo crazy. There's a scripture in First Samuel. It's in Second Samuel. A little David, the king Saul wanted to kill David. King David went and in the Philistines camp. Baby Mbamba, my Philistine, he acted like a madman. Who knows the scripture? Let's he acted like a man. Man, go back to your son. But Saba Bamiak, who sat and both Nak Sabi Shan, Shanya Wamoy, and King Al Shan, who could let him call a poetic, oh Jesus, the lily of the veil. Oh, yeah, lily of the veil. I would see when I went in Peshes, in our own cell and TV, and from ten one get canter. English in song of Seras. Gangan is Zulu must know. Abanya, but deep in English is okay. English or mean. Once not good, I can get calm at the chest. Ah, you know what I said, Yapet. In the poetic. Oh, man, just not sure when it's my up. We can say it's a good prayer. God, thank you to Funuk Advance. I'll go Bushan. Oh, Sale, that's a long was a security flatted. When to send to Bassib. Who's a fear of my poise? Let's go, my boys. Okay, pakata, pakata. Inke we are sab. Inke we are sab. We are sab. Mom Creed, we are sab. We are sab. We be crazy. These are the people who get results. I told you about my testimony the other day. I'm not going in. What's me? I'm having a condition. So let blood clot in his vein. What's one? Uzo chon, uzo chon, uzo chon, uzo chon. In fact, thing I got three months now. Who's a specialist? One of the greatest specialists in Africa. Gang motion, eka muzo nsuwa. Yala lakzo mush. Gubang ne speed. U doctor tapan. What you know? What we need three months. And why he says we need three months with it. Stingu says um zimbawa. Go buzo shona ngembed. You've been in hospital months. Eh, no pum pilungen. That time I'm paralyzed. There I can't walk. Wa verwa pel medical aid. Ne retirement package ya moli mali len kampana teng seven zagion. Gisa in size school. Ya pele la yonge medi clean kate ngibe. Yonge pele medi clean get lengan kuna gai. Waza wange no agui. Waye kwa to retire my mom. Waki pa gui retirement package ya ki. Waka kuzna izo pel. Lengana ay pili ya shon. Gabot ya zin. Imala isek. Medical aid ay isek. Ang veling shanye manjing pil. Tasu kumen pete ngat seng ya pil. And I've been working ever since Demning Bond. Wa pele la. What are you saying? What are you What are you then lastly, what did Esther do, Sengvan? Ufeze usecha kubegi sand. Ufeze. Le iPhone ubegi. Bala ma notes is in your phone. This is the thing show you. Uzi mpili shija musu kucha. Yabonu pore kufi. Luli ndengi ti shapoko. Basenji ni. Yabonu asunga sasini nduti. Zeta, 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 zeta. Masa siyazi kshubile. Masa siyapambi. O tab. Zibre. Nab, on your bed. But you surely, Mama, surely, so wrestling do surely, Mama, must get him as your pumping. She has the so said, eh? Shelly, Mama, or Pum, I'm glad. Tata, my no telling, thank you, show you. Go be honest of Pilis, or Angam Bell. Yes, or Bukum Faras is precious, or Bangam Bell. Look, fun this and get or in Sugawa Pil. Meaning, you said, as now, my mom is here, oh, you, oh, you, listen, thank you, show you. We are in Kabu Jobe Bab Julie. Kabu Jobe Bab Julie. Kofi Gomu Yuma Kelo Ano Yi Prayer War. Why Konu Moli? Uledi Led. What's Umenze Nu Kulu Kulu? Mshamba Kona. In Tungu Kulu Lafunu Kufundi Si Lesson Gyal. Oshie Intercess. Katun Des Buza Nam Saibo. Kona In Tenga Be. Goba Sen Kule. Galashlega Luzin. Gash Gashona Band. Kaz Buza Nam Gash Mshamba Ngokal Seg. 
Yes, it's not. 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 Yes, you need to understand a certain dimension of spiritual warfare. So he started teaching me about mysteries, even mystery emerge. Yeah, well, then the show so big. We go to the show, yeah, we share about casting. I'm like, so big. What in the mall? You don't get along. I put God on. I'm like, so big. 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 I'm he showed me scripture. I'm going to like how Oban will be connected to that. I'm going to find this. I'm going to find this. I'm scripture, scripture. Okay. So, is the thing is from this side. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to see the text. I show my head. I'm going to be sure Oban will show my head. Then they. That's the revelation. That's who I'm not. I'm going to be sure. I'm going to be sure. I'm telling you guys. I'm going to receive, Mama. I'm going to be sure, Mama. Very young. I'm a youth. I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. I'm I'm Gisala, I'm about saying, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm strong. 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 I'm Jesus Kumbus, Atifundis and Locos, Akumbulanga Fundisangat, Wak Seven Zed, Fundisangak. So the last thing Esther did, Fezang Kul again. Make known your petition to God. Esther chapter seven. Send this cut. I have to close here now. Esther chapter seven, verse one and two. She has now understood the authorization. Two, she has fasted, she has prayed, she has. Who says Nigelek Feni? What if I perish? I perish. But lastly, this is what she did. So the king and Haman went to Queen Esther's banquet, chapter two, verse two. Sorry. On the second occasion, while they were drinking wine, the king again said to Esther, "Tell me what you want, Queen Esther. What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it's half of the kingdom." Esther has acted crazy. Where have you ever seen a queen a first time? Go, you say, Claude is telling what dot in a gale young kind. Where have you seen a queen eating Gabez or Bekal and Ella Sigas Fale Pants and Bosses with Bakale and Yinin King? After all of that, Gulunguavu in what? What's a palace is Balaput? Yino it will lie. Ape authorization or eating guy. What palo is there? Authorization. It's Amajuta Wagwas who's defender and overcome those ones who kill them. And that's how the nation of the Jews were saved. If Esther had not done this, Ujesu, a prophet, was little Pumagma Jut, Ujutu Jesu and Gerafik. Gobungula was Jigis' prophet of Sag. His prophet of Isaiah Sassit, Uzopuma, the root of Jesse, the root of the Jews. Was Opuma from the house of Judah, Bashonjalo, Jeremiah. So, Uma Abula, Amajuta. Blessings. What I want a platform you fig. Because you have not overridden the authorization against them. She understood the authorization. She went ahead and became crazy in fasting, in prayer, in giving. She did it all crazily. Then three, she made her request known. And she was granted a new authorization. And because of that, generations were saved, including us. Because Jesus was a descendant of the Jews. Can we stand on our feet? Can we stand on our feet? Believe it or not, that is not even half of that teaching will continue next week, Sunday, and hopefully it ends. We don't have to go to the other week. 
I had written something down here. We'll all pray now. What are you praying for? Lord, grant me the grace to understand what is the authorization that is standing against me and my family. I can feel it. I can, I truly feel it. There's grace available. There's grace available to confirm the word. I wrote here, ministration. I usually write down. And here, as I was praying, the Lord said, you'll have to pray for grace to know authorization against you and your family. So start praying and say, Lord, show me in this bambi. Abanye baba mbege mshatwen Abanye in finances, abanye in family Abanye it's premature death Abanye it's no one succeeds No one advances Abanye no one goes to the altar of Christ Even if they confess they believe in Jesus But they never come to truly knowing him personally What is that altar Standing against you? What is that authorization Standing against you? Just pray Pray and after a minute Gizobiza, who say, Lord, I need the grace for my eyes to open in bonds yin linking so that I can deal with it. Shalab. Is a baba 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 ba
upon the ones you have chosen. There's an anointing to see. There's an anointing in the prophetic to see. Eyes are popping open. Grace, come forward, please. And then we can close.
Bosengwele. Sipami sizandle. Kosi bazwe pamgwako. In faith that you are a dispenser of the grace to see. And, and they need to see which authorizations stand against them. May you show them right now what are the authorizations standing against them. And I actually challenge those authorizations. I challenge them. I do not come in my own name. I come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And every legal authorization sponsored by a demonic entity, sponsored by witchcraft, get come I come against you. I come against you. Help it. I come against you. Every generational curse. I bind the spirits sponsoring generational curses. I bind you in Jesus' name. I command the fire of heaven to pull you out. 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 To pull you out.
every spirit of suicide under the sound of my voice. I bind you, I bind you, I bind you, I bind you, I bind you. The Kamakaches, Shabbate, Prete, Peke, Zepeke, Teke, 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 Zeke, Teke, Teke, Zimba, Pepe, Teke, Zimba, Tuka, Tite, Zimba, Sike, Pepe, Teke, Ipa, Kate, Lepe, Rika, Skipa, To, Izia, Pato, To, 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 To,
with the demon for years. Eh? It could be, but not always the case. It's possible. You are now dealing with Indoy again, man. She's alive. Zebra dog of Sete. He got me that the dead. He got wrong this dead and he got bad. How's your home feeling? How's your home feeling? How's your home feeling? Is there no pain? Is there no pressure? Are you sure? Where do you feel? Anywhere in your body, where do you feel pressure? On your chest. Okay. Zete Continue praying. This is what is called deliverance. The Lord is not Okay. 
for this is the day that you have ordained, O oh Lord, for our deliverance. We thank you, O oh Lord, that this is the day that you have ordained for us, O oh Lord, to take us to new dimensions. We thank you, O oh Lord, for new encounters. We thank you for new revelations. We thank you for new understandings. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for wisdom, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Zutele Kenya Shihande Le Brosko Doya Mukate Te Libra Kita Labosu Munda Zike Neziante Te Lebosuya Mande Rebe Sika Labra Kate Te Lembrat Munda Zika Lababaziane Lerebosu Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus saints of God uh, as it is our norm in this house to come and seal the word and the work God has done with our thanksgiving offerings may we come and give our thanksgiving seeds amen may we come and give our thanksgiving seeds as we continue praying and thanking God for what he has done in this place today hallelujah as we continue praying and thanking our Lord for setting us free. Amen. Hallelujah. For setting us free from authorizations that have been causing hindrances in our lives. Hallelujah. Let's continue thanking the Lord as we come and give our thanksgiving offering. Hallelujah. As we continue ministering for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
feet and lift our hands if at all possible amen amen in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray for you that in this week may you be blessed going in may you be blessed going out may god authorize your advancement in this week May God authorize your lifting in this week. May God authorize your breakthrough in this week. May God authorize your restoration in this week. May you mount up with wings like eagles. May you have the favor of the Lord. May you obtain favor from every eye that sees you and every ear that hears you. May everything that you touch in this week turn to gold. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may favor be your lifestyle in this week. May miracles, signs and wonders follow you in this week. May they locate you wherever you are in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i bless you in jesus mighty name amen 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 uh, saints of god uh, let us meet here on wednesday 6 p.m for our midweek refill services hallelujah amen and for those of you who'd like to have tea and biscuits they are there at the back. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. 